I love solo leveling now. That one, sorry, the one straw hat. Let's see what he has to say. It's been so long since an anime has been capable of getting me this hooked. So yesterday I ended up watching episode two of solo leveling. Not gonna lie, last night I watched episode two by myself again, just like the really hype scenes where we're about to go to the instruments and one of the guys like, it's not over there! And then we realize, oh, and then we have to fucking start crawling and the soundtrack is fucking blaring. Yo, that moment is the fucking peak. And by the end of the episode, I was really tempted to basically just go on the internet and... So... Between volume two and three, she gets the glove, huh? Because volume two, he still looks pretty normal, but volume three becomes a K-pop model. Search up what's happening. So I heard there was a lot of complaints when it came to episode one, because yeah. it was a little bit different from the manhwa in terms of how they told the story. People said it ruined the experience, but I dis- Nah, I think a lot of crybabies are fucking just farming negative engagements on Twitter. They just want to say something. And there's also people that just always says the unpopular opinion for more negative engagement. I think episode one was perfectly fine. The criticism, the only criticism I think episode one deserves is the fact that it should have been a fucking combined episode. Just like the original premiere, the special VIP premiere. Unfortunately, they separated the two. So episode one, not really as good of a hook as it could have been. Disagreed, right? Like, I am an anime only. I had never experienced the manhwa before. And I saw that first episode and I really enjoyed it. Of course, I think this second episode was much better. And I think this second episode is mm -hmm. what pulled me in even more. Now, people are saying, I think this second episode is supposed to be the first episode or whatever. Yeah. But I think personally, for like, as in like, it was supposed to be officially like a one hour premiere. That's how they did it, right? All the cool, important people got to see like episode one early premiere somewhere. And then we plebs got the fucking separated versions. Me, I preferred it at the second episode just because I think the first episode did a very good job at just explaining what's going on and mm. kind of giving me more of a sense of like understanding when it came to the world and how the world works and the world building the exposition the lore dump in episode one i think was fantastic some people obviously are going to find that shit boring because most kids just want hype scenes right so they don't give a fuck about whether or not there's two different types of minerals or crystals that you can farm from monsters one is for sustainable energy and one's for fucking crafting armors and shit like that but i do like the fact that they went into detail for stuff like that they didn't have to but they did and even talking about like the awakened you know, people the hunters the existence of the portals and the oh, hunters awakening powers and even a little bit of hinting at jeju island in the beginning you know three years ago with the fucking ants with that understanding, I think this episode was a lot more enjoyable. Now, after finishing the second episode, I immediately went on the internet, but I didn't Google anything. I was so tempted. My Never. Never. Especially never the wiki. If you ever go on a wiki of an anime that you're watching, you don't want to get spoiled, never look at the status of characters. Because that status is going to determine if a character is dead or not. Don't do it. Just don't fucking do it. Hands were on the keyboard, and I was literally tempted to type in no! leveling Wikipedia. But I didn't do no! it thankfully because I don't want to get spoiled. But it's one of those animes that make you want to spoil yourself you just want to know what's happening right you yeah. want to go ahead and read the manga but i am holding myself from that and just saying you know what i'm just gonna wait until this anime finishes because it's only 12 episodes have you guys already just like power read the manga guys sorry the webtoon because like here's the thing about anime reactions huh because the anime reactions needs to be genuine and authentic it needs to be blind reactions or it's not fun I can't fucking read webtoons, mangas, light. Well, I can for previously covered content. So maybe we could even read a solo leveling webtoon on stream too. I'm not really sure, but you're on your 101st chapter. <laughs> no, but you wanted to. I feel like, um, I don't know. I, I feel like being an anime only, it's hard, right? The temptation there for wanting to watch the official content, it's really tempting. But if you hold out, maybe uh, it's like fucking crack. You just want fucking more of it. These give me, give me more chapters. By no means is it a long anime. It's really short. Whatever that blue being was, that god thing that, thing that looked so creepy in the beginning. I love yeah. it because I think for me, one thing that draws me into a series is the sense of mystery. And I think what, like for those that know me, I'm a huge fan of One Piece. Okay. One thing that kind of hooked me in on One Piece was the mystery of the One Piece itself, right? It's like, the does solo leveling actually have such a deep lore to the point it can actually be mysterious all the way through? One Piece has probably one of the best world buildings to ever exist in a fictional show. 
So the mystery, they could introduce some shit in like chapter fucking 27 and then fucking 900 chapters later. It's like, oh, you remember that one time back then? Yeah, it's actually important now. And you're like, oh, mind blown. But solo leveling right now, it might be the, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a honeymoon period. You know, everybody's just glazing this show up. Sure, it seems a little bit mysterious because obviously we have no answers for it. But can it actually hold on to this? You know, Mystique? This, it's kind of like Oda had this uh, fishing rod and at the end of the fishing rod, there was a carrot dangling and I was just chasing this carrot, right? Same thing with solo leveling. They have this deity thing that I really want to know just what it is. I want to know what's happening in the world. Uh, but yeah, overall, this was a great episode. I think the animation was just as good as the first episode of anything. Yeah. Probably even better. I legit thought that this was going to be a shonen-esque anime. I know it's not a shonen because... There are shonen elements to it, right? It's is it better categorized as a seinen? I'm not really sure. It's not necessarily like a shonen like fucking My Hero Academia, One Piece, you know, fucking. Can I even say Jujutsu Kaisen? Would people get mad? You know, Bleach and shit like that. It's not really just purely shonen, but there are shonen elements. It is a manhwa, but I thought it was going to be similar to a shonen anime. Yeah. I was completely wrong. This anime is way too dark to be a shonen. More like a seinen, right? If they're showing all this gore and violence. I, I probably think this is a seinen. Here's yeah. the thing with solo leveling. I hope it does really well because it is a manhwa IP, right? And this is the biggest manhwa IP to come from Korea. So yep. if this one doesn't bang and it doesn't do good, a lot of, you know, studios are going to be kind of more iffy to... In I mean, if they're already picking an omniscient reader, man, I don't know. Talking about big manhwa or webtoon IPs, what about uh, Tower of God? Because Tower of God is also like, it's a super long running webtoon series back in Korea. And it already had an anime in season one a long time ago. It's already gotten confirmed for season two, right? A lot of people, I think, had complaints about season one, about how, like, because of the nature of the story, it's such a slow burn in the beginning. Season one was kind of a snooze fest, even though people are hyping the shit about it. So a lot of people coming into the show kind of felt a disconnect on the hype that the, uh, the readers of the web team were saying, because they're like hundreds of chapters in saying, oh, trust me, bro, just get to chapter 367. It gets really good there. But season one's not even scratching that. So I think a lot of people are complaining about that. But despite that, it's still greenlit for season two, right? And, you know, solo leveling came over. I'm sure it's going to do fantastic. Even if it doesn't, the name is so big, it'll cause drama. I feel like people are still interested. And look, and moving forward, I think... The meta, right? So this is what happened with me when consuming manga or anime. I started with just the big three, right? One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, fucking just... I thought that Shonen was the only thing that ever existed, right? I never gave a fuck about, you know, rom-com, slice of life. Get that bullshit out of my face. What are we doing with these episodic episodes where we don't do anything? Where is my fucking overall goal to become the Hokage or some shit? Get that shit out of my face. But then after you farm enough, you read over and over of the same shonen shit you kind of run out of things you know to enjoy because you've just drained it and then you kind of discover like seinen and maybe isekai and you branch out there but then you realize that your content's drying up and then webtoons arise bro webtoons came out of fucking nowhere it's like oh shit we got a bunch of webtoons to do there's even like a chinese uh manhwa so there's Korean manhwa, which is more known as like webtoon, but then I think there's also Chinese manhwa, not with the HWA, but with the HUA. There's also very fun series like that too, right? So as I start to consume more and more, right, I start to tap into different mediums of anime like content like webtoon so i think even now in the anime industry they're starting to realize that shit guys there's a fucking gold mine of content through korean webtoons why don't we just fucking adapt them and you see this shit happening in like netflix specials too right they're not just covering western show they're just branching out the korean media a lot so i see the fucking meta shifting man invest in manhwa because look i'm even me, I'm not a manhwa fan. I usually stick to manga just because of the format and the layout. But if manhwa ends up getting anime... Format and the layout? Bro, if he actually gave Webtoons a try, I bet he would like the format and the layout of Webtoons better. One of the most compelling and um, enjoyable things about reading manhwa or Webtoons is the format. Everything is colored. It's just an infinite scroll. In manga, you're supposed to fucking read left to right with bubbles cop popping up nowhere. The art is sometimes so fucking congested, you don't even know what the fuck is going on. Webtoon, just fucking free scroll, baby. 
so easy to consume. The experience is so nice. I think you would enjoy that. I'm down for it. You know, I'm here to watch. There's a couple of reasons I don't read manhwa. It's just, it's such a different format for me that I'm not used to. Number two. What? Fucking scrolling down and fucking reading the fully colored art? What do you mean? I've also kind of cut down on reading manga as well. I've just been sticking to more anime because I, I do think I prefer anime over manga. I used to be the other way around. Which is funny because when I was a kid, I was anime over manga, and then I became manga over anime, and I- I have no choice but to be only anime. I can't consume manga anymore unless it's content we've already seen, such as the curse of being a reaction channel. I'm back to being anime over manga again. Like, I prefer watching the animes, and I know, like, there's a lot of big webtoons that are, like, apparently really good, so I hope they get anime so that I could watch them. And this is the biggest one. If this one does, if this one does good, mm. I can see more studios being willing to invest in reader, baby. more webtoons and making them get animes, which would be good for the entire industry. Anyways, episode two was... This is better than episode one. If you if you still Absolutely. have not seen Solo Leveling, do yourself a favor, go and watch it because it, it's probably the anime of the season for sure. For more anime content, manga content, make sure you follow, subscribe, to all things anime, manga. Y'all know what to do. All right. This is the one straw that uh the one straw hat. First time we're watching one of his videos, guys. Give him some support. Go like the video if you'd like. Yeah, I think that's all leveling episode two again. It's completely better than episode one because I think it just has to be right. That that's where all the good meaty shit is. Did it deliver? I think it did. All the complaints, all the criticisms. I think it's just a bunch of fucking yappers. Now, future episodes. There might be a little weak episodes where people are going to start yapping again saying this shit's trash, but hey, let it cook, right? Let it cook. Give it a full season, then we can talk about it.